Back for another FSD beta drive. Again, we're gonna be doing some rush hour traffic here in Toronto. And of note, we will be getting on the highway today and seeing how beta manages rush hour highway traffic in Toronto. So this will be very interesting. Let's get going. Starting off here at the residential neighborhood and get onto some busier streets. And eventually gonna make our way to the highway. Coming up to the stop sign here, stopping well in advance, creeping forward a little bit. It's gonna have to creep forward a bit more to see what's going on the right. Stopping again to check, making its turn. Good job. Turning left here, slowing well in advance of these pedestrians crossing the road. Good job. I'm gonna put this on average setting. I'm gonna let it pick what type of lane changing it wants to do. I'm not gonna activate minimal lane changes. Let's see how it manages that. I want to get a good sense of what FSD beta is thinking. All right, doing a left turn, nice and gentle. Our next turn, as you can see on the map, will be left. Okay, those pedestrians aren't crossing there, so that's one less thing to worry about. So really, it's just the oncoming traffic, and we should be good to go. Yep, there we go. Good job. Good job. Good job. All right, I wanna see it start moving over to the right lane as sooner than later, because we're gonna to have to be getting on the highway in about one kilometer from the right side. We have a car here on the right. We'll see if it goes into the right lane after this intersection here. There's a truck here on the, in the right lane, so I would naturally like to get ahead of that vehicle and then comfortably move into the right lane. Let's see when Beta decides to make that decision though. All right, good stop here. Okay, let's see, get ahead of this one. I want to see if we can get ahead of this, this truck here. I'm going to boost it to go up a little bit faster. There's some oncoming trucks here in front of me. Good job. Got ahead of that. Got ahead of that vehicle there on the right. I can see the... Uh, highway ramp just ahead here let's see how it does the acceleration on the ramp as well as getting off the uh, the ramp lane let's see how it manages that if it does the appropriate signaling or not I can see lots of traffic on the highway already moving at a high rate of speed let's see how it manages all of that let's see if I have to intervene Slowing down a little bit. I don't know. Now it's picking up. All right. As you can see, already some construction vehicles here. So let's let's see what happens. All right. Good acceleration. Let's see what it does here. Oh, that guy was about to. He's coming way too close there. I'm just gonna merge there because this guy in this truck, he was starting to swerve into my lane. Beta was slowing down to manage that. I'll just reactivate there. I'm not gonna ding it on that. highway 
for some time, maybe five minutes if there's no traffic, and then we're actually going to connect with another highway going north. Looks like we're coming up to some traffic. Oh, yeah. Gonna have to slow down. As you can see, we've hit the rush hour traffic here. The it's slammed on the brakes a little bit. Let's see if it goes around it. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to intervene there. There is a person behind me who is really accelerating fast. Beta was taking its sweet time on making that decision, which was not optimal there. So I'm gonna have to take over. As you can see, we're just accelerating into rush hour traffic. Let me reactivate there. Again, when you're driving on the highway, you're gonna have to activate fast. And uh, FSD was stuttering with that decision making, which is okay, except in the real world, you have people who are accelerating very fast in the left lane there. So I didn't want that individual to have to slam on the brakes there. So I'm gonna intervene. So you can see lots of construction here. So we've got all altered lanes here. So things might be a little tricky. Again, you got cars moving in and left and in and out of the lanes, like here. This is actually one of the areas I really like FSD, is when you're in stop and go traffic like this on the highway in a city environment, it can be very, very tiring, if, especially if you're doing the commute every day, you just kind of turn on FSD beta and let it do its thing, right? You just kind of sit there, listen to radio, listen to some tunes, listen to your favorite podcast and just kind of let it drive for you, right? Manage that. So that's actually one of the reasons why you would use or get FSD beta even if you live in an urban environment like this. All right, right there is looks like it was changing the route for some reason there and I and I canceled it it looked like I'm trying to it's trying to make sense here if it was trying to get off there at Kennedy Road and, and then get back on I don't know why it did that but I, I am not doing that I am staying on the highway here there's no getting off it at this point Here it has me going into the left lane and I'm okay with that because we'll, have, we'll see here with the traffic though because this can uh, connect with the express lanes which I'm okay doing because the express lanes will also connect with the highway I need to, to go on to. And that's, you can see there, it says 600 meters. It's gonna move me into the express lane and I'm okay with that. That's actually what I normally do when I take this route, so good decision making there. I was happy with that. Traffic's op opened up a little bit. As you can see, lots of construction here, so these lanes are all altered. Well, let's see what it's doing here. It's, okay, it's indicating that I'm gonna go left into the express lane, so that's good. got lines painted all over the place here so this is all new this lane will this lane will be ending let's see how it manages that lots of traffic there on the left right. so far it's doing a good job it's going a little, going a little, going a little fast going a little fast Sorry, I, deact I, I, I deactivated there. That's my own fault. That's just, it was gonna break, but I just wanted it to be, wanted more gradual braking there, was driving fast with slowing cars up ahead. No, I'm gonna disengage there. Sorry about that, sir. At this point, I am going to stay in this lane. It wanted to go around this traffic, but it made no sense. I don't want it to go do that. I'm going to reactivate here and at this point what I'm going to do I'm just going to tell it to do minimal lane changes at this point I just it doesn't make any sense for it to get into the middle lanes 
that traffic isn't moving that much faster. I might get ahead one or two cars. But I didn't want to do that. I'm going to be getting off on the right in about one and a half kilometers. So let's just chill here for a bit. Again, one of the things you want, you know, I want to see what FSD does is, does it do needless lane changes. Here, it probably saw a faster lane, so wanted to move in there. So I'm not, I shouldn't really ding it for that. Um, but it's just not what I wanted to do. It would actually be interesting to see, I had a friend say this before, if FSD can adjust to your own driving patterns, knowing that you know whether you like to swerve in and out of traffic always trying to find the faster lane or not and I, and I know it can kind of you can kind of choose average assertive or chill and maybe I should just have it in chill because on average drive it's moving left and right so I really should take that into consideration so you know at this point I'll move it into chill I've been happy with this drive. This drive's been good, you know. I'm not gonna ding it for some of the lane change decision making because because of the setting I have it on. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Has to get into this right lane. I was wondering if it was gonna go do that. Is this the lane it needs to be in? Again, you can see some cars here that are passing me on the left. You're like, well, why don't you just go into the left? No, that left lane there, that's it's, it's getting off, but it's going to turn onto the DVP to go south, and I want to go north. So absolutely doing the right thing, staying in this lane, no swerving in and out. Here, I have a car just behind me just, just cut in, did a last-minute cut in there. And things will start picking up once we get beyond the point where the ramp splits off between north and south. Well, this is good, just relaxing here. Again, I don't, you know, tra traffic's never fun, but when you have your car doing the driving, it makes it a little bit more bearable. Stretch out my arms a little bit. Alright, we gonna have the cars here now starting to merge in front of us as expected. Okay, good. good job there. Good job letting the car in front get through, but then purposefully moving forwards so you don't have additional cars trying to squeeze in. Alright, All right. it's gonna start picking up very quickly right here. Let's see how the acceleration goes and the lane change goes. Monitoring the traffic on the left.
hybrid system right now where it can do the heavy lifting and doing a lot of the driving and I'll intervene at times, right? If it does something that's not to my liking or to my preference, so we kind of work in tandem together. And I find like that, it's a, it's a great system. It's a great system. Is it fully ready for a full autonomous? No, it is not yet. Unless you're driving in a more suburban or rural environment, I find. That's fine. It's making leaps and bounds and it's getting better. And just look how it's managing this, just driving on the highways. Great jobs with the turn, staying within the lane, monitoring all the traffic around it. It's doing a great job. Makes your commute so much nicer. drive here so I think this drive gives you a good sense of what FSD beta can do on the highway rush hour traffic in Toronto I think they did a great job a couple little quirks here and there but otherwise I think it did a fantastic job got me back here into the suburbs and uh, I was really really happy with the drive I'm really really happy with FSD performance these days Looking forward to seeing its improvements in the coming weeks and months ahead. And again, thank you for coming along with me on this drive today. If there's any scenarios that you'd like to see me undertake, please leave a comment below. If you enjoy these videos, please feel free to subscribe and like. I will see you on the roads. You all drive safe now.